Liz, do, do you love us? Tell us. <laughs> she likes it so much. We're over here. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I think this. Um, what was actually not working in the um, in the room in the front of the house before is working very good over here. Is that it has this nat uh, natural and this softness in it. And also these colors in this type of wall, which I think works great. Plus it's totally protected. It's yeah. very hard to yeah. damage. Yeah, right. Yeah, and, and, and here uh, you could actually, I think it, it would work on this wall because uh, rain and wind is mostly coming from there. Mm -hmm. So, and that together with this being super protected, I think it could work just fine outside. Often people also have these um, like small roofs in their garden. That would also be a perfect place to to hang some art because it's it's if it's protected in a good frame and it's like almost uh, uh, totally protected against humidity or rain or anything uh, and there's even a roof above it. I mean, what can go wrong? <laughs> and then uh, you could play a little bit with that in your garden because this is a nice wall, especially with the colors in here. But then. For example, I think on, on just some, some wood or something, it could also work super nice. Oh, that, that looks great next to the birds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you have these uh, pink flowers over there. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's... And what I'm also seeing is that this, the pink that's in here is automatically um, changing the color of the wood. Because I look at here, it's more greenish. And then next to yeah. this, it almost becomes a bit pink itself. Pink, yeah. So that's, oh, uh, this looks amazing. And then this is in totally open space. That maybe that's not the smartest choice, but often people have this in their uh, roofed space. So yeah, it's perfect. And what's nice is that it's wood, so you can always just put a nail in there and uh, and change it whenever you want. Sometimes also have this, but then paint it. Oh, yeah. And then even in your garden, you could use the trick of anything looks good on black. <laughs> But then with this painting specifically, I what I now see is that um, because here you have a bit of damage because of the weather, the sun and the rain, and here it's a bit more uh, black still. Uh, I like it better in, in combination with this because this brings back a bit more of the natural color and the natural properties of the material. And this is more like the super painted shelving. And for some reason here, the glass is not making a trouble at all. No, yeah. Yeah. It's perfect. Uh, yeah. You can see very well the details in the painting. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And and then on this wall, you don't have this direct sunlight. So yeah. I think that is that is the thing you are now talking about. Is that it's really um, uh, working as long as it doesn't get too much uh, direct sun in it, yeah. because then you can't see it anymore. Very nice. This is a beautiful garden, Femke. Beautiful garden. So speaking about weird places where you can place your art, yeah. another option is the toilet, right? right? Definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's actually one of the most, most fun places. I can imagine that maybe some artists are like, no, my art wasn't meant to be on the toilet, but... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Not every art is for the toilet. No, uh, no. Maybe you can pick one that is good for it. Yeah, yeah well, um, what's actually nice about the room is that everyone comes there, even your guests or yourself. Or, and when you're in there, you're kind of stuck. So you have to look at it. <laughs> it's not like you can ignore what's on the walls or what is in there. I think the, the toilet is just a great place to put some decoration. So if we're talking about either art or like the cheaper decoration or some, uh, here I, for example, have some, some poster I got from the internet, which, he, which we thought we was, what was uh, fun on the toilet. So yeah. you sit here, yeah. Yeah. Let, and this is what you look at. let that shit go. So <laughs> you, could, you could put something funny over there or something humoristic or, uh, but also like uh, something more like this. In, uh, in the high, yeah, in the, but but I think it, it works quite nice here because it has this high gloss frame and this plastic in there, and yeah. and and there's something kind of weird about this shape. You could put it like this, but also put it more horizontal, and then be like, okay, what is it? And 
yeah, it's it's like easy enough to look at because when you're here, you're probably not going to be here for hours. I hope not yeah. so, because <laughs> then there would be something wrong. But it's still uh, interesting enough to, to be here and be like, okay, what is it? And Or just be like, it looks nice because that's yeah, also... And it fits perfect, like this frame with the yeah. frame yeah. of the mirror. Yeah, definitely. Um, this is so yeah. cute. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then there, because I, I made this shelf over here where I can sometimes change like with art or uh, yeah. uh, stuff I like. But if you are a boy, yeah. you might want to place it yeah, here. Maybe, <laughs> probably you want to place something up here. And here we also have some, uh, some black on the wall, uh, which is still empty. So I'm still looking for the right art to hang on there. <laughs> Could be quite interesting over here because it's not really competing with the pattern uh, underneath, which would be the case, I think, with these, mm -hmm. because these have the smaller images in there. Yeah. Uh, it it looks lost, so you would yeah, probably need no. like two or, and it has about the same shape as this element over here. So I think that's also, it is too similar. So it's almost like becoming cheap and weird in yes. here. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So not only the size, not only the frame, not only the color, but also the content yeah. of the painting needs mm -hmm. to fit to the space. Yeah. Then you also can see that this size, for example, it could work in here, but now we have this, this little green leaf over here for some freshness, but compared to like the shelf and the towel yeah, and it's it's, it's also disappear. yeah it's it's kind of uh, disappearing in uh, in the environment on so. the other hand what you said downstairs i can very easily see here if you have just a little spot from with the colorful glue yeah. and just uh, hang something here from mm -hmm. your little pieces that you have all yeah. around the house yeah. then this might be cute yeah because yeah then a, you would make a, a bit of, bit of a group of it for. yeah right yeah yeah, cool. And in comparison, because this is just the toilet, but in comparison with the bathroom, mm -hmm. the, you said, okay, here you don't spend an hour, but in the bathroom usually yeah, you, you do. can spend yes. an hour. Yeah, definitely. In the, in the toilet, I think it's fun to, to do something humoristic, but in the bathroom, it, for me, it's more a place where you retreat from the daily stuff and just try to relax a bit and be by yourself and be a little bit kind to yourself and so that for me would would be more of a, a place to put something more yeah i think more serious or something that speaks to the to the mind to relax and be nice to yourself and uh and, and rest a bit mm -hmm.